हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लाइक ऑफ इंडिया चैनल एपिसोड सिक्स इन दिस एपिसोड आई विल बी टेलिंग व्हाई लाइक आर सेंसिटिव टू एयर पोल्यूशन एंड व्हाई दे आर एन आइडियल ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर पोल्यूशन मॉनिटरिंग सो वी ऑल नो दैट लाइक आर वेरी सेंसिटिव टू पोल्यूशन एयर पोल्यूशन एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वाई दे आर वेरी सेंसिटिव एंड वाई दे आर यूज एज अ बेस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर पोल्यूशन मॉनिटरिंग If you see the lichen thallus structure, it is mostly made up of fungus. About 90 to 95 percent of fungus, and only 5 to 10 percent is algal part. And this algal part is very important. Algae is very sensitive. Okay, so algae has this chlorophyll, and because of the pollution and pollutants, this chlorophyll gets degraded, and it converts into pheophytin. Once it converts into pheophytin. the chlorophyll i mean this photosynthetic efficiency reduces and ultimately algae dies and the fungal thallus dies so this algae is very sensitive because it has its quantity is also very less and the second reason is that these lichens are directly depend on the atmosphere for the nutrients so we know that these lichens do not have a well developed root system they have minute risings they are only for attachment purpose they don't actually draw the nutrients from the substratum that is why they have to depend on the atmosphere for the nutrients and atmosphere if it is polluted all these pollutants gets into the lichen thallus this is one of the important reason why lichens are sensitive coming to the third point lichens do not have any protective covers like a uh, cuticle or epidermis so absence of protective cover makes it more sensitive to the pollution second i mean coming to the fourth point lichens are lichens thallus is sponge like it is very hygroscopic so since it is hygroscopic it draws the moisture from the atmosphere so if it is wet then it is more sensitive so the when it is moist in condition it absorbs a more nutrients at even it is moist condition this pollutants a thallus is more metabolically active that is why this pollutants cause more damage the other reason is that these lichens have a tendency tendency to uptake this uh, pollutants so they uptake this pollutant that are whatever there in the atmosphere it may be gaseous or it may be the heavy metal and it may be even the organic pollutants so it has a tendency that is why these pollutants cause the damage to the lichens and the another reason is that these lichens do not have any shedding structures if like uh, higher plants if it has the leaves or the other parts which are shedding so lichens can reduce their load of pollution but in case of lichens since they do not have any shedding structure these pollutants keeps on accumulating in them and the another reason is that lichens are very slow growing and because of its slow growth even if there is any damage caused it is not recovered it is not restored very easily and these injuries are are mostly invisible and the restoration of these uh, damage is also very slow and these are some of the reason why the lichens are sensitive to air pollution coming to why they are best my best organism for biomonitoring studies apart from all these reasons lichens are cosmopolitan in distribution they have wide range of distribution the cosmopolitan for example if you want to uh, study uh, study the pollution using the lichens these lichens are available everywhere you can use them that makes them one of the ideal organism for the pollution monitoring and lichens are perennial organism they are available throughout the year there are not um, a uh, much seasonality in lichens so lichens are perennial available throughout the year so that again makes it an ideal organism because you can use this lichen for uh, studying the seasonal variation the pollutant accumulation or you can see the uh, uh, cumulative pollution pollution accumulated in them uh, in the throughout the year or for certain year or so so then another reason is this lichens have the long longevity longevity like 
so they 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 are uh, they live for a longer year longer duration some lichens are uh, grow for years together hundred to thousands of years so because of their longevity they keep on accumulating the pollutants in them so this is one of the best reason for why lichens are uh, ideal organism for the biomonitoring studies and even these lichens continue to metabolize even in the harsh conditions such as the a cold condition in the winter so another reason is that lichens uh, using the lichens is cost effective unlike any equipment you are using which are costlier so if you want to repeat the studies in many places so putting the equipment in the several reason again becomes a costlier and uh, whereas using the lichens may be cheaper so that is another reason why it's a best ideal organism and uh, sometimes it is easy to recognize, handle and process even to analyze. Not all the lichens are easy to identify, but there are some lichens which are easy to identify. You at least a few species you can recognize and then you can use them for the pollution monitoring. So, so at least your growth forms you can use for, for the pollution monitoring. So this is another good reason. And since you are working on the in a live organism, so you can even extrapolate the result into the uh, other organism or you can extrapolate the uh, results to analyze the health of the ecosystem and even the effect on the other organism because you are dealing with a live organism here. So these are some of the reasons why you can use the lichens for lichen as an ideal organism for the pollution monitoring. Then coming to its sensitivity, not all the lichens are sensitive, sensitive to pollution. They, there is a different, different degree, differential sensitivity is there towards the uh, range of pollutants. For example, fruticose lichens are the most sensitive organism, sensitive lichens. And whereas the foliose lichens are moderately sensitive. And crustose lichens are the least sensitive to the pollution. Uh, sometimes these, there are few foliose lichens which are very tolerant to the pollution if you go to the tropical area and all since pigs in the different area they are very to pollution tolerant they, that is why they are ideal organism in the tropical area for the pollution monitoring so uh, what i mean to say here in this uh, case is that not all the lichens are sensitive to pollution sensitive to air pollution there are some lichens which are also tolerant to the air pollution so this is the reason why lichens are very sensitive to air pollution and how we can use how, i mean why uh, they are the ideal organism for the biomonitoring studies so i think uh, uh, this uh, um, video is helpful to you and if you like it please click like and subscribe our channel uh, lichens of india thank you very much